Hey, Jarek here, and this is the limited edition Nerf Needler. This is one of the coolest blasters I've ever picked up. Not for performance reasons, in fact, performance of this thing kind of sucks, but I mean, do I need to explain more? Look at this thing. It even comes with its own stand. This thing is nothing special, just a little bit of plastic and a Nerf Limited logo on it. It says Needler on the side, but in my opinion, everything Limited Edition should come with a stand like this. This one particularly needed it though, because these needles on top are pretty rubbery, and I imagine if you lay it on its side, you'd squish them if you try to storage it in a weird way. Be careful, you can harm these needles, and you don't want to ruin the good looks of this blaster. Out of the box, you don't get a whole lot with this blaster. You get the blaster, you get the stand, and you get 10 of these pink elite darts, which the color was a nice touch to the needler. This is electric, it's not a flywheeler, it is an AEG, and it runs on six double A's that you put in a compartment down here if you remove two screws. I won't bother doing it, we've all seen battery compartments, there's absolutely nothing special about it. The actual construction is surprisingly solid by Nerf standards, it's a lot of pretty durable plastic, and it's heavier than I thought it was going to be. The size does also seem fairly accurate to how it is in game. It looks smaller in Master Chief's hands than you see a Marine holding it, and yeah, they're actually this big. The Needler has a really big advantage going for it when it comes to turning it into a Nerf blaster. Now, Nerf has made quite a few different Halo Nerf blasters. However, a lot of Halo weapons look like real firearms, and that can't happen as far as Nerf is concerned. You don't want kids running around with realistic looking replicas, but that's not a problem when it comes to this goofy looking thing. You can make this exactly like it looks in game and it's not going to cause a problem. And this really, really looks good. It has so much detail. I'm just gonna have to zoom in and show you. The detail is even down to the hexagons on the purple plastic. It's the right colors. It has the right little details you could ask for. It's got the ammo counter on the back. This in Halo 5 was a smart scope. Apparently it has turned into a uh, ammo counter. I actually love to comment on Welcome's video when he called it an ammo counter. I was like, isn't oh, that's a smart scope, isn't it? And then everyone corrected me. I was like, oh, well, shit, today I learned. I guess that's them trying to change the aesthetic from Halo 5 to Halo Infinite. It's a good change, just an interesting one. So then what about all these lights? How do they work? Well, there's a switch down here on the back. In the middle, it's off. In the back, this is the display mode. And there's a touch sensor on the grip. When you touch it, the lights will turn on. If you press it forward, this is the firing mode. And as you are shooting, lights will turn off. Again, this is a really, really cool product. The grip is okay. Uh, it could be more comfortable. It's a little sharp on my web of my thumb up there, but keep in mind, this was literally not made for human hands. This was made for aliens. So you're not gonna change the design of an alien weapon that looks and feels alien because it is alien. But it's not the least comfortable thing I've ever held in my life. I'm not really going to complain about it. I'm not even going to complain about the pretty bad performance. When I chronoed this, it chronoed pretty consistently in the 60s. That's fine. I didn't even bother chronoing it with any other darts, just the elite darts it came with. I mean, you're not buying this for performance. You're buying this as a prop piece. I have seen a lot of Sanghealy suitors at places like Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and I expect to see a lot of these at those conventions. I'm gonna turn off all these lights real quick, try to get a good viewing of what this looks like in the dark, because the lights are the coolest part of this to me. All right, here's what it looks like with the lights totally off. This is very neat. I'm gonna turn one of these lights on though, because this is just a little too dark. There we go, that's okay. Now I'm just gonna shoot it directly in front of the camera. So yeah, as you can tell, it's not a performer. The rate of fire is really slow, but it does look really cool as it's shooting. The needles do turn off as you shoot. And when you want to reload it, you open the left side, left side, left side for the shooter that is, and then you can spin this and load in your darts. And then when you close this, lights turn back on. Now that I've explained how this works and talked about it a little bit, let's shoot it and then come back here for my conclusion.
So what's my final conclusion on the Halo Nerf Needler? Well, if you're looking for performance, then obviously don't buy this, but who cares? That's not why you're buying a Needler. You may want two of these to do wield. It's a prop gun. It is so, so cool. And it's hard to get better than this if you want a good Needler to show off or part of a cosplay. Like I 100% could recommend this. The problem is that it's limited edition. I can't tell you how much it costs because I've seen it fluctuate so much. I've seen it be as low as 70. I've seen it be as high as 170. So, depending on the price, maybe, I honestly would tell you that if you want this, as soon as you see it, just buy it, because who knows, it may disappear, it probably will disappear, it's apparently limited edition, we will see. As for now, thank you guys for watching this review, I am very happy I decided to buy one of these things, it's just too cool to me, and I'll see you next video.